Today I'd like to talk to you about a topic that definitely interests me and has interested me probably my entire life, but especially since my awakening. I want to help create a 5D society or a utopian society. I actually see the two as very different and yet very similar. So let's get into the first video about creating a utopian slash 5D society. Quickly to understand the difference between a 5D versus a utopian society. A 5D society is a spiritual society who absolutely knows that there is nothing to be afraid of. They know that they are source, the creator themselves, incarnated as an individual. They have no fear at all whatsoever. And the entire body of the society knows all three of these things for absolute sure. They know it so deeply that they exist and and all the decisions that they make and everything are based on this knowledge. This will usher in a utopian society instantaneously. We don't even have to define it. We don't even have to think about what it would look like or feel like or, or how to create it. So what I'm talking about with a utopian society is a little bit different. Utopian society is still based in the 3D. This is still an existence that we can all be proud of as we get to a 5D existence. So a utopian society, I'm sure you have your own perspective of what that is. And utopia means perfection. That's one of the problems with the word utopia is that it is some sort of perfection where everyone agrees that this is perfect. The problem with that is that no one, not everyone is ever going to agree that anything is perfect because we live in an imperfect world. I am surrounded by these beautiful trees and bushes, and each one of them has imperfections in them. Even though they are perfect examples of nature, they are perfect, but they are imperfect. So they are perfect with flaws. So now when we look at a utopian society, we can't say that it's perfect. We have to say that it's perfect with flaws. Our current society is perfect with flaws. There's an awful lot of flaws. We can talk about the flaws all day, and people love to do it. And people get very popular on YouTube by talking about what's wrong with society today because it's all based on fear. It's all based on frustration, disappointment, anger, impatience, all the, the lower vibrational emotions. And people love to tune into that. I believe that we tune in to negativity and doom and gloom because we're programmed to. We're programmed to find what's wrong with the world so that we can circumnavigate it. As soon as we know, oh, we don't want to go over there because that's where bad things happen. I'm not going to go over there. Oh, but how do we know that bad things happen over there? Someone has to tell us or we have to experience it ourselves. And in many cases, we would much rather someone tell us than have us experience it ourselves. So moving on to creating a utopian society. A utopian society, in my mind, is a 3D societal experience where we still have a lot of the issues and a lot of the problems that we currently have. And that, uh, what I mean by issues and problems, is fear, is survive, the need to survive, and all of the trappings that go with this society. So what's the first thing we have to do? Well, we have to recognize why our society is the way that it is right now. It's the way that it is right now because we are biologically programmed to have fear and to be selfish and to just try to survive. This is part of our genealogy. We pass this on to generation after generation and it, we, we needed all of it in order to survive very difficult experiences. This is a very treacherous planet. There are lots of things that are trying to kill you. Right now, I'm swatting away no see because I'm in the south and there are these little tiny bugs, if you're not from around here, that, that bite you around your ankles. You can't see them and they itch like crazy and you know there's, there's always a problem. Now, that's not trying to kill me necessarily, but there are, before this, there were much worse problems. There were all kinds of animals that wanted to eat us. There were all kinds of diseases. There are many that still exist. And, there were, and, and you could die from a scratch if it became infected. So this place is a very treacherous and dangerous place. It's also a place where we have to eat other things. We have to destroy life in order to survive. All we're trying to do is get the energy of the sun. 
And what we do to do that is we kill animals and eat their flesh or we kill plants and we eat their, their chlorophyll. So in those cases, all we're doing is destroying. We live on a planet of destruction. Everything is hunting everything else. Everything is eating and destroying everything else. So of course, together with all of that, we would create a society that is based on competition, that would be based on survival, that is based on fear. Everything that we're doing is very much based on our primitive programming. If you think about our numerical financial society, then what we're doing is we're creating an economic system that is based on lack and deficiency. We believe there isn't enough, so we have to jockey and barter and try to create enough for ourselves while at the same time essentially removing the availability of resources to others. It is very much based on fear. We're afraid we're not going to have enough, so we have to generate more money. We're a, we, and it's based on survival and selfishness. Well, I've got to make sure I have enough money for my family and everybody else be damned. I don't care about them. They have to figure out their families. That's not my responsibility or my problem. So if you think about it, the reason that this economic system is so successful is because it's based on this survival programming. So all we have to do is figure out a way to create a system that takes advantage of all of this. So we're not saying, okay, everybody has to change their minds. Everybody has to change everything that they're doing. Everyone has to dismantle fear. All we got to do is not have fear anymore. <laughs> easily said and not easily done at all. Never going to happen until we as a society and as individuals move into a higher vibrational existence. And we realize that there is nothing to fear because we're infinite. Until we can really feel that way, then these approaches are going to have to be created using the current limitations of our system, of our experience. And that is, again, survival-based, fear-based programming. Okay, so in order to go to the non-fear-based experience where we know that we're infinite and we don't have to have fear and we don't have to have worries about survival, then we, we will go through a spiritual awakening. And many of us are doing that. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm helping people with negative entity attachments and childhood traumas and, and PTSD and depression. I'm helping them shed their fears and move into a high vibrational experience, into a high vibrational perspective. So I'm helping create that society, that, that 5D society, one person at a time. Fantastic. And I'm happy that I'm doing it and I'm loving every minute of it. And if you're one of those people, then let's talk because I can really help change the way that you experience life on this planet. However, I am not foolishly believing that this is going to happen overnight or very quickly. I understand the realities of the perspectives of individuals. And as I traveled all around the country and I ended up here in the South in, in the state of Mississippi, I've met so many different people and I've seen so many different people live their lives the way that they're living them. And for many, they're still eating horrible food filled with poisons because they're inexpensive or because they taste good and they're just pursuing the pleasure of the taste. I've met many people who have guns and are very worried about people coming into their home, so they have to have a gun in order to defend themselves. I've met so many different people who have so much fear. It's very common. It's threaded throughout all of our society, and I'm sure that the United States is not the only one. So I understand that while they are waking up and they're making huge progress, and there are many people that are, are realizing that they don't have to have fear, still, the waking up process is still based in fear. You've got to wake up that the government isn't just trying to help you. You have to wake up that there are people that are out there manipulating the world. Well, that's still fear-based. Even other light workers who tell people that, hey, you've got a negative entity attachment. This just happened recently. Somebody said that they, that they had a negative entity attachment and they went to a particular practitioner and that practitioner said, you better work with me right away. And if you don't, you're going to end up with schizophrenia. What? That is such a fear-based thing to say to someone. I'm just blown away by this. And, and what did they do? They wanted to charge them $10,000. Well, they're using fear to extract money. That is still not high vibrational. You shouldn't have to use fear at all to acquire the money that you need to survive. 
this is completely unnecessary and I do not condone it. If you've ever uh, talked to any practitioner who uses fear to try to convince you to, to work with them, then please run the other direction because it is not about that. It's about helping. It's not about scaring. Okay, I've kind of gone off on a tangent, but what's really interesting is that I definitely understand that we've got a long way to go to get rid of fear and to move into a state of unconditional love for all. I recognize and realize that. So what if we created some sort of system using, again, the limits of this society, the limits of our pre-brace programming to create a, an incentive program that incentivizes us to create a society that is more helpful for all of its members. I'm definitely going to go into this more and more as I create more videos on this topic because it's definitely a huge interest of mine. But in the short term, what we can talk about briefly is what if some large corporation, what if a Walmart or, or a Pepsi, if somebody came along to them and said, hey, you know what? We will give you how many billion dollars, three billion dollars to create a system by which you feed all of our country or all of the world for free. From their perspective, it's free, but we're paying you to create this system. Do you know how fast that would get taken care of? If they said that's billions of dollars more than it would cost to do that, you know that immediately that is going to be solved. So when we look at it and we say, well, these problems are not solvable. We don't know how to do that. That's a lie. We totally know how to do that. All we have to be is incentivized. And again, that is using that survival-based selfish programming. As soon as that becomes available, that, that incentive, then it's going to happen. Right now, we live in an incentive program, our economic system, that incentivizes us to be selfish. I'm going to make money for just myself and my family and everybody else be damned. So it does exist. It is possible. And what? Yeah, you, you, did you balk at $3 billion or whatever? It's just a number. The way that our society works from an economic standpoint is numbers are typed into computers all the time. And numbers change based on, oh, well, this society decided, this government decided to just inject lots of money into the system. Okay, yeah, we're going to have inflation. So? This is a human created experience. This is not nature. We are, we are in command of our economic system. We decide how it works and we decide how it doesn't. It's a giant agreement across the entire civilization. So I wanna thank you for watching this first video about creating a utopian society. I have so many more topics and I'll be diving in deep into each one of them around this general topic. And so hopefully you find it interesting. Please comment. Let me know what you think. You know, this is definitely a controversial topic. So I'd love to hear the counter opinions. I think it would be great to, to establish a dialogue and a conversation because we really are in the position for the first time, maybe in, in, in all of our society and certainly our lives to be able to actually execute and deliver a, a utopian style society in 3D existence. And I'll talk about how all that works from a spiritual standpoint in so many future videos, as well as negative entity attachments, depression, PTSD, and all the different things that we struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis in these challenging incarnations on this treacherous planet. So please give me a like, give me a subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think and start that dialogue. Thank you again. I love you unconditionally, and I'll see you in the next video.